Have you ever seen waters in Indonesia look like a trash can? For example, like this, like this, or even like this. This is called water pollution. But what is water pollution? Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies usually as a result of human activities so that it negatively affects its uses. Water bodies include lakes, rivers, oceans, quivers, reservoirs, and groundwater. Water pollution results when contaminants are introduced into these water bodies. The water pollution in Indonesia is often very much ignored. More than 90% of municipal wastewater is discharged untreated into waterways. The majority of Indonesia's population is exposed to the water pollution, while only 12% of people have access to safe waters. All but 7% of groundwater exceeds safe pollutant thresholds. Indonesians still tend to throw trash through rivers. It is very unethical behavior, it is unresponsible, and people often blame the fault on the government. The current situation is that based on the data that I have received in 2020, 59% of 564 rivers areas were heavily polluted, 26.6% were moderately polluted, and 8.9% was lightly polluted. As for the ideal situation, the citizens of Indonesia knows how to probably throw trash into trash bins and not into the waters. As for the waters, it will be clean and there are little to zero trash in the waters, which will result in less flooding and a more hygienic water place in rivers, oceans, and lakes, and etc. Rivers and gutters in Indonesia are clogged with bottles, bags, and other plastic packaging. Officials say that they seem to be involved in a battle against rubbish that has accumulated as fast as they clean it. The commander of the military unit in the city of Bandung described him as our greatest enemy. How do we as engineers fill the gap set before? We use the engineering design process. The engineering design process is a series of steps that engineers follow to find a problem, to find a solution to a problem. These steps include problem-solving processes such as, for example, determining your objectives and constraints, prototyping, testing, and evaluation. I have then come up with a hypothesis which is the implementation of trash barriers throughout Indonesian rivers can be efficient in reducing water pollution as well as flooding. I then introduce you to river trash barriers. River trash barriers would stop plastic from coming to the other side of the river and it is easier for them to collect. This allows fish to pass through and can withstand rainy season floods that could raise the height of the river by 3 meters or more. For deep and water, for wider and deeper rivers, the team purses the secondhand 19 liter plastic water drums to creating a floating platform that collectors can walk along. So how to implement this is by gathering data. They know what kind of trash and brands are often thrown through trash in hopes the companies of whose products are polluting the ocean will contribute to the cost of their disposal. Highlight the economic benefits can be done by paying people fairly for their labor and can generate both income and usable assets such as compost and maggots from trash shows the values of the engineers' works to the community. The third is by to work with local community leaders on education. Community Communicating that plastic trash harms marine ecosystems and does not degrade has been a key to success. The SDGs use are clean water and sanitation, climate action, and also life below water. Thank you so much for listening.